Okay, there are lots of beef tenderloins out there sold very, very cheap in the cryovac package, and we just want to show you how much work goes into processing one of those. So Ariel, why don't you weigh the one that we have and see what we start with in terms of weight? It is four and a half pounds, fantastic. So all of our tenderloins come in like this, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, show us how, uh, how you process that. Okay. Out of the bag. And how much do you expect to get off of it? Well, I would say it would get like a like a, a pound. Okay. Pretty much a pound to take out of this. Get okay. The trim. You can take out the chain, all this uh, silver silver side right here. Off of the the all this nasty stuff. Okay. Show us your magic. So the first time you did this, did you do it quickly and efficiently, or are you much better at it now? Uh, no, now I'm a lot better. I'm a lot yeah. better than when I first started. Because uh, if you don't know how to do it, it takes a long time. You can easily screw it up. And do you think that the first time you did it, you had more waste than now when you do it every day? Oh, yeah. This time, I mean, you know, you pretty much take out only the, the fat. And uh, before, when I first started, I didn't know how to do it. I was waiting, you know, messing up the, the meat, which is, which is the most important part. The sure. Most expensive part. So when people buy a tenderloin in the package for nine ninety nine a pound, at least ten dollars of that is is n not really usable. Not usable, yeah. What do we do with the waste? Well, we just compost them. Some of it's good meat, though, right? Some of the meat we just make uh, for ground beef. For ground beef. Yeah, it's just, you don't make that much money out of it. So. There's a chain. Okay, and can you use the chain for anything? Uh, yeah, you can use the fat. You can use some of it for ground beef. Okay. You know. Not a lot of people with meat grinders at their house, though, huh? Yes. <laughs> So we sell tenderloin for twenty six ninety nine a pound. Uh, this is the grass fed tenderloin. Oh, great! Uh, they're twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. Because it's grass fed, it's pasture raised, it's much you know, it's healthier for you. You know. But one hundred percent of the meat is going to be usable, correct? Uh, yes, ma'am. So where's our grass fed beef from? This is from uh, Georgia, Fulton, Georgia. Rhino, nice. From uh, Little Harris. Oh, very nice. No, this is the only, uh, this is the only uh, rancher that supplies Whole Foods, no, no, no other uh, company. So that's the silver skin you're taking off now, right? Yep. If you were to leave that on, how would that tenderloin be when oh, you cooked it? It's tough. It's not going to be cooked. It would be really, really tough. So you cannot, <laughs> it's just going to stay in your stomach. So you cannot, you know. Ooh, okay. So this one here, is your shrink. So you want to make sure when you do this, mm -hmm. you know, you, you don't, you know, you... Make sure you don't cut all the meat off because, you know, it's expensive meat. Right? It is expensive meat. It is expensive, so you want to make the most out of it. So. Yeah, our grass-fed tenderloins are delicious. When you cook them, you need to be careful, though, right? They yes. cook a little bit faster. Yes, you only cook it for like three or four minutes on each side. Okay. So or else it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be, it's going to dry out. So you nice. Wanna, you want to keep it nice and moist. So... So now if you were doing a whole tenderloin, you'd tie it right now, correct? Yep. But you're probably going to cut this into steaks? Uh, yes. Okay. I, only, I only do it uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. somebody if someone requests, requests it. Somebody requested it. So what's our finishing weight then? So this is our finishing weight. It's nice and clean. 100% mm -hmm. edible? Edible, yep. So we get 287. 2.87. Okay. So Almost one third ends up being waste, correct? Yep. So here's your. Uh, these are the. The scraps. The scrap. Wow. And really, we can use the scraps, but it's harder for people at home to be able to use be those able scraps, to right? Yes, ma'am. So maybe those cryovac meat meat uh, tenderloins aren't the best deal, huh? Yes. <laughs> Better to have professionals take care of it for you. Yep. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Ariel.
You're welcome. And also, here's the, uh, the trim. Okay. For your brown beef. So that's usable. Yeah, a pound. About a pound. And then about, I would, like a half a pound of just gristle. Gristle, yep. Yeah. Totally. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.